Hello everybody, my name is Dale and today on Inception Gaming we're going to go over a very quick getting started guide on Ark Survival Evolved, specifically on the island map, okay? So diving straight in, the first thing you're going to be greeted with is the character creation screen. I'm just going to blitz past this guys if you want to create a character and do that and then come back to the video, go ahead. We're going to start in South Zone 1. The first thing you're going to need to do is get your tools. You need to get a pick and you need to get a hatchet, okay? So we need to gather some resources, alright? So we've got a drop coming down right in front of us. That is a ramshackle drop. You need to be level 15. So we're not even going to be able to open that, okay? So knowing that we're not going to waste time with the drop, let's just keep collecting some rocks over here. There we go. All right, 10 rocks, something like that. That'll be absolutely fine. We're going to grab some thatch and some wood. And there we go. A couple bits of wood, a couple bits of thatch. Like so, nice and easy. And we're going to craft up our first tool, which is the stone pick. And as soon as we've done this... Uh, I've done that just by going over it, hovering over it, and pressing E on my keyboard. And we're going to go ahead and grab that. And pop that down there, just like that, okay? So all of this stuff in here is just cosmetics. I'm just going to get rid of this to make the my inventory look simpler for you guys. Uh, so that you guys can see what's going on. Uh, I think I just threw out my thatch there, didn't I? Okay, whatever. Um, so let's just grab some thatch and a little bit more wood. Let's just go ahead and apply our first level, okay? So we've got two levels. I'm going to go firstly into health. And then the second one into melee damage. So then we're going to make the campfire. We're going to learn that engram and the hatchet engram first. And then before we get into the spear, I'm going to go cloth pants, cloth shirt, and the cloth hat. And that is because these two require hide. So you can't even make them anyway. So I'm going to go pants, shirt, and hat. And then that is what we're going to be able to craft. So the first thing then is I'm going to try and craft those items. Uh, so we need fiber for them. I think we need a collective amount of fiber, which is 10 for that one, 40 for that one, and 50 for that one. So we need another 90 fiber at least. So this is going to be something you have to do at the start of the game if you want to get yourself a little bit of uh, protection. Um, and not just from dinosaurs, but the elements as well. Cold uh, at night is going to get you, and then the heat during the day is going to get you very nastily. And that is probably enough to make the two. Have I made them yet? No, I've got the hat. Let's pop that on and let's get that and that going. And then we're going to look into getting this hatchet. So we need some flint. We've got the wood and the thatch. And we've also leveled up again. We're going to put that. We've got a triceratops right there. We're going to put that into health. And then we're going to get the spear. And then we're going to get the cloth gloves and the boots. Okay, now that we can craft those. And we've just crafted our armor so we've now got 30 armor and a little bit of hypothermal insulation and a little bit more hyperthermal insulation and the difference between the two is hypothermal is protection from the cold and hyperthermal is protection from the heat and our armor gives off more hypothermic insulation than it does hypothermic insulation so that's that um so we need the flint for the hatchet so we're going to grab our pick out and i'm going to go smack a rock like so. That's a little bit of flint and stone, which is quite nice. And we can craft this. Again, hovering over it, pressing E. And then once that's crafted, it'll be in the inventory. And we can pull that down onto our quick bar. Uh, and I like to bind my hatchet to number two, because it's just quite, quite close to the uh, WASD key. And we're just going to grab some resources. I'm going to grab 100 thatch from this tree, and then 100 wood. And we should be able to start making our shelter. Uh, but more importantly, we should be able to start making a campfire. 20 stone, happy days. And there we go, our campfire. We're going to craft one of them. And we're going to put our next level into melee damage. And we're going to grab the thatch foundation, the door frame, for now. And we're going to start to craft those items. So we've got enough for a thatch foundation and a door frame, so that's quite nice. Well, that should level us up, actually. It has indeed. And we're going to go into Fortitude, and, and this and this all you'll notice is going to increase our hypothermal and hyperthermal insulation. Um, so if I do one into this, if I just show you guys what that's done, it's just taken these up a little bit um, on its own as well, which is quite nice. And we're going to grab the ceiling, the wall, and the door, and now we can make an actual full shelter, which is quite cool. We'll grab the door. So obviously if you're too close to that drop, you can't build. But right by the water, you can pop that down. There we go. And let's just put all of that in there. And a trilobite is actually the easiest source of food right at the start. Um, we just need fiber, flint, and wood, and we can craft some of that. 
like so, and then a little bit of fibre as well. Perfect. And we can craft ourselves two spears. And I'm always going to put my spears into slot number three, so you can quickly access your weapon. And now we can go and kill this trilobite. Level 12 trilobite. Oh, my spear broke straight away. That's so, oh, that's so unlucky. I need fibre. Oh, he died though. Okay, that's not too bad. So I'm just going to grab it with the hatchet so that you get the extra bits from this guy. You get loads of resources from this dude. And that is black pills, which is a, an incredibly rare resource. Uh, we got a lot of chitin from that, or chitin, or whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, we also got the oil, which isn't used uh, for a very long time. And some silica pills, which is also very nice. And obviously then the meat, which we are going to put straight into campfire to cook us up some nice steaks. That'll be very nice. Um, so the other thing we need... Let's just remake one of them. We've also leveled up. I'm going to put this one into Fortitude again, uh, just to help with temperatures. If you're cold, by the way, guys, if you come by a campfire, that will also help warm you up. Just going to go in there and drink some water, and we should be able to grab some meat. I'm going to pop that straight down into slot number zero, and I'm just going to chomp down on them. I'm also going to pop a fart out, like so. Uh, right, and now we need to start making a shelter. So we've already got our foundation bits. Uh, I'm just going to go down here to make a shelter. Should we make a shelter underneath this tree? And let's go ahead. I will pop down our foundation just here. Shall we have the doorway out? Oh, hang on. Cancel that. Oh, bugger. I think I've already got one of them. Oh, well, two doorways. <laughs> and I'm going to place the doorway facing the sea. Why not? Should we make it a slightly bigger? Just so we can fit more in now that I've made an extra doorway. No reason at all. Uh, we'll pop that going that way as well. And you know what? May as well. May as well have two doors. Why not? So then we need the walls. So we need some fibre. So we need extra fibre for the walls. So let's go ahead and grab some. Let's just make a load of these walls. Uh, let's also go and place the door in as well. Uh, I think the door out looking over that way. We'll put that. And this one, we'll just leave this open, I think. Uh, dinosaurs can't actually get through doorways. Um, I think only Dilophosaurus can. I don't even know if they can, though, because they're quite big creatures. Uh, all right, let's place in these walls. I've just accidentally ate a berry. Like so, like so, like so, and like so. And then we need two thatch ceilings. And let's go ahead and... Oh, no. Oh, I keep pressing E when I'm going into the inventory. Right, two of them. That's perfect. And then we can start placing in our ceiling, and we'll have ourselves a little humble abode there. And this one just there. There we go. That is our shelter complete, guys. And the only other thing that I'll go ahead and show you guys is how to tame a dodo, I suppose. Uh, we'll just go grab some more food. Taming the dodo, guys. Uh, a very simple creature to tame. It's a level 16 dodo, so it's not going to take long to tame it. Punch it in the face, um, which is quite fun. Um, and there you go. Knocked out. Real simple, real easy. Um, and it doesn't wake up too quickly either when you look at that. Uh, the unconscious part is only going down. It's going down pretty quick, actually, but it's, it's, it's a low-level dodo. Um, if you just want to grab yourself any kind of berry, really, uh, but the Majo berry is the best kind of berry, pop that in his inventory. Oh, and he's tamed up straight away. There we go. And this guy is going to be called Steve. He's a male, isn't it? That's okay, then. And there we are. We have a Steve. We're going to pick Steve up, and we're going to go and put him over here. I think that'll be quite cool. And throw him down there. We've got Steve. We've got ourselves a little house. And we've got some armor, which is uh, very, very handy. So, guys, that is going to be it for today. If you find this tutorial or guide helpful, go ahead, slap a like button on me. That would be really, really nice. Uh, and if you want to be extra kind and want to receive notifications for when I do more things like this, hit that subscribe button. It's free, and you can always change your mind later on. Guys, enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Dale, once again, on Inception Gaming. Goodbye.